Javelin here with another SOLIDWORKS tech tip. This week I'm talking about fully defined sketches and when sometimes they're not quite so fully defined. So I'm going to take a look at this edge flange here. I'm going to edit the sketch. Now you'll notice that it's fully defined down here at the bottom and you'll also notice that I don't have that minus sign in brackets beside my sketch indicating that it would be underdefined. But if I look at this, this is just a fairly typical edge flange, but although this end, this line here is fully defined, I can click and I can drag it. And I can kind of override how it was initially, uh, initially on edge, which is what this on edge sketch relation refers to. And I can now override that and fully define it with a, uh, with a sketch relation so that it's fully defined again. You might have noticed before it was underdefined. Here I'll show you again. I can just click and drag that. Now it says underdefined. And I have, well, I would have, if I were to exit the sketch and rebuild my tree, I would have that bracket minus sign bracket there as well. Now it's fully defined. And I can exit out. Another example of this, if I were to create a sketch, I can click on an edge and say convert entities. This will also make use of that on edge sketch relation. And I can grab the end points. And although it was fully defined before, I can grab the end point and redefine where it is. It's underdefined, 80, fully defined, and drag the end point, underdefined again. Another example of this would be if you use a spline. So I'm going to create a spline, just a simple two-point spline. I'll go from one end to the other. And you'll notice it's fully defined, despite the fact that I can still move these, uh, these spline handles here. And the line continues to be fully defined. 